Hi guys, I hope you are doing great today. I am going to tell you how to implement binary search tree with insertion, deletion and reversing the binary search tree. But before starting, do you watch my previous video in which I talked about the 5 frameworks Java developers should know. If you are new here, I am Asan. I post Java tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Watch this video till the end because I am going to give you a bonus so don't miss it and watch till the end. If you have any questions, comment down in this video. Let's start today's lesson. A binary search tree is a type of data structure that is stores data in a tree like form it where each node has at most two children which are referred to as the left and right child the key property of a bst is that the value of each node in the left subtree is less than the value of the parent node and the value of each node in the right subtree is greater than the value of the parent node this property allows for efficient searching insertion and deletion of data in the tree let's start implementing binary search tree first we will create a class which I will call node and in this class I will create a variable key node which will hold left and right of the tree and a constructor to initialize all the values so node int item key is equals item and then left is equals right is equals null so this constructor will initialize all the values let's just move towards the implementation of the tree so node root i will create a constructor binary search tree which will initialize the value of root with null which is equals null and then i will create a new constructor then i will create a new constructor which will be responsible for initializing or creating a new node so binary search tree brackets and then in the brackets i want to type a int value the value which we will send through the main function then a root node which will initialize the value or store the value we will send now i want to create a function insert which will be responsible for initializing or inserting the values but we will do this function with recursion so i need key and then root is equals insert recursion and then we will send the root and the key that we want to store in the tree now i want to create a new function this function that we right here and then uh, root node the value if root is null that means if there is nothing in the binary search tree then we want to create a new node and store the value in that node return the node which is actually the first node another condition i want to add here if you know that in the BST the left subtree holds the minimum values uh, from the root and the right values are the maximum values from the root so for this case i want to create a new condition in which i will type root dot key and then that means if the data that we send from the main is less than the root key then we will put this value on the left subtree of the binary search tree root dot left is equals insert rec and then left dot root dot left comma key similarly for the other case if the value is greater than the root so i want to put that value on the right subtree of the binary search tree so root dot right and then i want to call the function again root dot right and the value that it i want to store at the last you want to type return root so so it will always return the root every time when we will insert the value so it becomes a new root that was all about insertion of uh, binary search tree now i will talk about the traversing of the binary search tree so there are three orders in which you can print the binary search tree first one is pre order second is in order and the third one is post order so i'm going to tell you about in order we will do this with recursion also i'm going to create a function in order and then again i want to call a function here in order in which I will send the root node of the tree and then I want to implement this function in order rec so that it will function with the recursion okay, in here I want to put node root okay first of we want to check if the binary binary search tree has value or not so for this I want to put this condition if root is not is equals to null then in order rec then root dot left it will send the left of the root and then I want to print that left of the root in here okay so that we can differentiate with it so in order Order rec root dot right. So when it will print the root dot key, that means it will first it will print the left of the root, then it will print the root of the binary search tree, and then it will print right node of the binary search tree. This is called in order. That was all about the traversing of the binary search tree. Let's move towards the deletion of the binary tree. Let's first check if the program is uh, working correctly till now. So I want to create the object of the class so we can create and call the function that we created and then i want to call the function insert first and i want to print these 
values in the in order of the binary history so i'm gonna call that function too but let's run the program and see if this is working or not so it's printing all the values that we inserted in the tree let's just move towards the deletion of the binary search tree for the deletion of the binary search tree we are going to do it with the recursion as so i want to create a function delete key we'll take the key that we want to delete create variable root which will do it with the recursion and i'm going to pass root of the binary search tree and the value that we want to delete i want to create this function so for this i'm going to first check if the binary search tree is null or not won't do anything with this condition if the binary search tree don't have any value so far as we know that binary search tree holds minimum value at the left of this subtree and the maximum value at the right of this subtree so for this if key that we want to delete less than the root key then i want to move towards the left so i know that the key value that we want to delete is left from the root key and i will move towards the left subtree for this i'm going to type root dot left next i want to do the same for the right subtree and the right subtree holds the value if the given value is greater than from the root node then i want to move towards the right subtree so root dot key root dot right is equals delete rec i'm gonna pass this right value and the value that i want to delete so this process has been done for only two cases for the left subtree and the further right subtree but if the tree has only its one child or no child then what we have to do for this i'm going to type a condition root dot right is equals null then i want to move towards the left of the root because we don't have the right of the root so i'm going to return root dot left similarly if we don't have the left then we want to move towards the right i'm going to put this condition here root dot left is equals null then move towards right so case 3 is that if the node has two childs then what we have to do first of all i'm going to create a function minimum values for fetching the value minimum for fetching the minimum value actually i'm gonna pass the root and then you are going to create a loop while root dot left is not is equals null then i'm going to create a variable minimum is equals root dot left dot key so now you will get all the values which comes into this variable and i'm going to store those values one by one in this variable then i'm going to type root is equals root dot left so it will be incrementing the left side of the root and then we want to return the minimum value i'm going to use this function for the case 3 the case 3 was if the node has two child then what we have to do for this you have to type root dot key is equals minimum value you are going to call this function you are going to pass the right of the root because in the binary search tree the minimum value is from the right of the binary search tree to the leftmost of the binary search tree so for this you have to pass the uh, right of the root and then you are going to type root for deleting the value this function has been completed now in here you are going to return root because we have to change our root every time okay now that's this function for example if i want to delete three from this tree then i'm going to type object dot delete key three and then i want to print the binary search tree again with the in order function okay run this okay so the values before deletion was 1, 2, 3 and 4 and after deletion was 1, 2, 4 because we deleted by the th value 3 and it has successfully deleted the value. So this was all about binary search tree with its implementation of insertion, deletion and traversing with the in order. In the next video, I'm going to teach you what are microservices and their pros and cons. So subscribe to this channel now and click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the video. Have fun guys.